Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and on today's Alex and Auto's Car Seat video, we're taking a look at the 2014 and 2015 Audi Q5. The Q5 is a two-row crossover vehicle, and size-wise it slots in between something like a Lexus RX350 and the brand new Lincoln MKC, so we do have a little bit more room on the inside for child seats. Let's go ahead and see how well they fit. Let's start out this child seat review by sitting up front here. I'm going to adjust the seat to within about an inch of the dashboard for my legs right there. I also have the seat back in a relatively upright but still comfortable position. Let's see how well a rearward facing child seat fits in the back. As you can see right back here, even with this front seat adjusted so I only had an inch of leg room left right up front, I can't insert a rearward facing child seat and have the little ball right there in its track in the green zone. I also don't have any room between the front headrest and the front seat back and this rearward facing child seat. Keep in mind that for proper installation of a rearward facing child seat, especially if you're going to have someone sitting up front in front of that child seat, you are going to need about an inch to two inches of room between the seat and the rearward facing child seat because in an accident, the front seat can move a decent amount rearwards and you don't want it to impact the child seat and hurt your child. Moving this Grocco Classic Ride 50 convertible child seat right over here to the middle position in the Q5, we now have enough room and enough clearance between this seat and the front seats for a safe installation. So if you do need to have a rearward facing child seat in this vehicle and two adults up front, this is going to be the best position in the vehicle. An important thing to know about inserting a child seat in the center position right here is that Audi in their instruction manual does not specifically say it is okay to use the latch anchors on these outboard seat positions for a center mounted child seat. Both the child seat and the vehicle must agree on whether or not you can use the outboard latch anchors for a center mounted child seat. So do keep that in mind. You will have to use the lap and shoulder belt for a child seat inserted in the vehicle in this position. The Q5 performs well in my two across child seat test. There's enough headroom right over here on the sides and there's enough width across this rear seat back that it's easy for an adult to sit right back here with two child seats in the back. I can also strap myself in and the nice thing that I noticed here is that the center child seat is not sitting on my seat belt buckle so it's very easy to strap yourself in. Some additional nice touches back here are rear headrests that do not need to be removed in order to insert forward facing child seats. Decent number of vehicles out there, you cannot get the child seat to sit snugly right against the seat back if you have the headrest in place because the headrests don't raise up high enough and the seat back is not high enough in those vehicles. That's not going on right here. Another nice touch is this center seat belt that actually comes right here out of the seat back and not out of the ceiling like you'll find in some of those vehicles out there. The reason I like the seat belt for the center seat position to come out of the seat back itself rather than out of the ceiling is because it allows this center child seat to sit very squarely and very snugly right here in the middle of this bench seat. If you take a look at some of the other videos on my channel, most notably some of those Acura models out there, when the seatbelt comes out of the ceiling, it causes this center seat to sit sort of at a tweaked angle right here in the seat back. And although that is just as secure, I'm told, by both the child seat manufacturers and the vehicle, it does make inserting multiple child seats in the back more tricky. And it also means that child seat is not sitting squarely with everything right here in the back. That brings me right along to our three across child seat test. And as you can see, these three Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seats have no problem sitting right next to each other across this rear bench seat. That's because this rear bench is fairly wide. If we take a look at it right over here on this side, I can fit easily my hand right here between the child seat and the armrest on the door and between this side of the door. That is important because you want to make sure that there's enough room for the rear curtain airbags to descend properly. They should go between the child seat and the door. If the child seat is too close to the door, then you can get that uh, airbag to actually deploy right here into the child seat and that's not good for your child. Now in terms of overall fitment, it is important to keep in mind that the Classic Ride 50 child seat is very average in terms of overall dimensions. So if you're looking at a larger child seat, you may not be able to fit three of them across the back. But if you're looking at narrower child seats, you definitely won't have a problem. When it comes to cargo capacity, the Q5 is at the upper end of the scale for its direct competition. However, something like a Lexus RX350, a Cadillac SRX, or a Lincoln MKX is going to have more cargo room right back here. Now when we pop open this power tailgate hatch that's on our TDI model, we do notice that we have a fixed tonneau cover here. This is a solid one. It does fold right there in the middle, but it is a little bit less convenient than a roller version. Right here, I have a 24 inch roller bag that fits very easily in the back. We'll pull that out. We have a 26 inch roller bag that also fits nicely there in the back. Now if we lift up this cargo load floor, we do have a little bit of additional storage right down here along with the spare tire. European luxury crossovers tend to be known for a lot of practical cargo carrying features. They're definitely going on in this vehicle. We have cargo tie downs right down here. You'll find the top tether anchors for the rear seat backs quite low in the seat, especially in the center seat position. That actually is right down here at the bottom of the seat back because this vehicle has a 40-20-40 folding rear seat back. That means that the center seat section actually folds completely forward so that we can stick longer items right there in the vehicle. 
The rear seat backs fold either by a lever on the inside or by a lever right back here in the back. And we also have cargo tie downs right here in the load floor. Let's see how well those child seats fit. Now, because we have this hard tonneau cover right here, it's a little bit more difficult to stack cargo right in the back because you'd need somewhere to put this tonneau cover. Now, if you had a roller cover, you could just roll it back and you could stick longer items in the vehicle. But if you needed to do that sort of thing and carry five people in the car, it's going to be trickier with this. But I still think I can fit this 24 inch roller bag right here with these child seats and still close the hatch. Just needed some convincing. As you can see, three child seats and a 24 inch roller bag had no problem fitting right back here in the cargo area, like most two row crossovers. I do think that a roller tonneau cover would make this a little bit handier, however. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the Audi Q5. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen. Be sure and comment on this video, like this video, share this video. Go ahead and find me over at facebook.com slash alexandautos. So you can find me over at Twitter at alexandautos as well. Go ahead and email your questions to alex at alexandautos, and I'll see you next week.